everyone, it is Yana, and today I woke up with one very specific goal in mind. I want to become a goth girl. I am done being boring. I am done being basic. So bright and early this morning, I got up and I went straight to Hot Topic, picked up a bunch of things that are going to take me from boring to hardcore goth. So I am fully ready for this goth battle. We're going to be doing makeup, hair, outfit, accessories, the whole shebang. I am so ready to be a goth. Now, Supposedly, the definition of goth is a person who wears mostly black clothing, uses dark dramatic makeup, and often has dyed black hair, so we're halfway there. I already have dark hair, and honestly, 90% of my closet is black clothes, so I know that I'm just gonna nail this goth look. The very first thing we're gonna be starting with is the makeup, of course. Goth makeup definitely has a very specific look to it. Goth makeup is very dramatic, very dark, very intense intense. There's a lot of contrasting colors. There's a lot of very heavy blacks being used, which is something that I'm so excited about. I can't wait to drench my eyeballs and my lips in just black makeup. It's gonna look so badass. So let's get started. Before the video started, I did do my base makeup, so we are just going to kind of amp it up a little bit more. We're gonna start with contour because gothic makeup is often very contoured, very intense, and very badass. However, even though the makeup is intense, I do still want to like try to make it good which means we're gonna be blending for quite a while I feel like maybe for the contour, I should have gone with more of a darker color instead of such a bronzy color. I feel like I might wanna darken it up with a little bit of eyeshadow later. Okay, I've bronzed my face up, but I do think that the color is a little too warm. So I'm actually gonna go in with like a dark gray eyeshadow and just give it that like very gothic depth. You guys, I am fully committing to the goth look today, okay? There is no going back. I am gonna be a goth girl or so help me God. I don't even know why I woke up with this like desire to be goth today but you know what we're just rolling with it they say you should follow your dreams and right now this is my dream even though I look absolutely crazy I am definitely not a fan of the dark contour but it is definitely what the goths do I'm also gonna contour my nose because oh my goodness the goths are so good at contouring their noses I'm nowhere near as good but we're gonna make it work okay because we are gonna be full goth today. Also, if you're wondering why I'm looking to the side, it's because there's a mirror there and I just need all the help I can get. I don't know why I look severely burnt right now. Okay, I'm editing right now and I just wanna clarify, I swear it did not look that bad in real life. Like, oh my god, the camera did me so dirty. Like, <laughs> For the eyes, I just want to darken them literally as much as possible. I'm using a really dark purple eyeshadow, and then I'm going to be using eyeliner over this. I am so ready to become a goth. You guys have no idea. You guys are not going to even recognize me. I am fully committing to the goth lifestyle, and I am never going back. The darker the eyeshadow, the better. There's something so satisfying about doing goth makeup because it just like allows you to just get messy and like have a little bit of fun. I actually went through a goth phase in high school. I think goths are freaking awesome. All right, now that my eyes are darker than my goth soul, and now that I kind of look like a raccoon, we're gonna add more black because when you're goth, it's never enough. I'm gonna be putting black eyeliner on my waterline. And now we're gonna do the most intense winged eyeliner that you have ever seen. And I am so excited. I have been waiting for this moment for my entire life. I really wanna do like the little like spikes that they do underneath their eyes. I'm doing spikes underneath my eyes because goth girls do spikes underneath their eyes. Even though you definitely won't be able to see it, we're gonna put some mascara on anyways. 
Now, unfortunately, I do not have black lipstick. I really hope this looks good and I'm pretty sure it's gonna slap. I'm gonna outline my lips with black eyeliner and then we're gonna do the center red. I just need to take off the lip gloss because goth girls do not wear lip gloss, okay? Oh my God, this is so black. Now that my lips are outlined black, we're gonna put some red. All right, and now that my goth makeup is ready, it's time to do the hair because goth girls do not wear messy buns. They have that long, dark, beautiful hair. All right, and now that I have my extensions in, we're gonna put in a lot of hairspray because hairspray is what gives goth girls their magic. And now for my absolute favorite part, the outfit. So to start off underneath my entire outfit, I'm gonna wear a full body fishnet stocking because it looks so badass and that is exactly what the goth girl in me wants to wear. All right, now that the body stocking is on, we need to put on the skirt. I got this skirt from Hot Topic and it was absolutely screaming goth girl at me. So this is what I'll be wearing. All right, the skirt is on, so it's time to pop on the accessories. I got these cute little cat ears and this choker that I'm probably honestly gonna keep because I think it's so cute and it's like so badass. Okay, I did not expect this choker to be an actual collar, but it's genuinely like a dog collar. So it is not the easiest to put on. I am officially fully ready and consider myself a goth girl. I present to you guys the goth girl fashion show. I have officially transformed myself into a goth girl. And I can't lie to you, I really love this look. I feel like a boss ass. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.